This is the ultimate beginner's guide to Modern Warfare 3. In less than 11 minutes, you'll be given the most advantageous in-game settings, a full grasp on the game's new systems, as well as some great tips to put you ahead of the competition. Welcome to Warzone Bootcamp. In every Call of Duty title, you're forced to adjust your settings to fit your personal preference. Rather than taking 10 minutes to go through each setting individually, here's a series of images for settings that should be best for almost every single person. These screenshots were taken on PC, so if you find you don't have the option, simply skip it. Beyond those, there are a few settings that are extra important, so be sure to set these correctly. If you want to aim better, disable vibration and set your crosshair to static. It's also great to lower your individual ADS sensitivities to ensure you stay on target. The recommended settings are on your screen now. Always ensure your FOV is on 120 as well as affected. Lower your screen shake to 50%. If you're not interested in diving, set your slide option to slide only. For maximum speed, set your tactical sprint behavior to auto tack sprint. Finally, as for audio, this comes down to the kind of setup you have, but a safe bet for audio mix in this game is home theater. There will be a video on the channel soon covering in detail the best settings, but this should get you started. Once reaching a predetermined level, you're given the ability to access custom loadouts. This allows you to choose what you'd like to have in your inventory during matches. While there's many options from which to choose, here's what you need to know. There's currently around 100 base weapons if you're to include the more than 60 carried over from Modern Warfare 2. These weapons fall into a list of different categories based on their characteristics. As you play with each of these weapons, it'll unlock a series of attachments in what's called the Gunsmith that can be added to nearly any weapon. You can easily find what attachments are unlocked from each weapon by opening its weapon progression menu. The interesting thing about Modern Warfare 3 weapons is that you'll instantly be able to use many of the attachments you unlocked in Modern Warfare 2. However, if this is your first rodeo, you'll need to level up those weapons as well to receive those attachments. Everyone's favorite thing about weapons in Call of Duty is that they come with camos for completing specific challenges, but at times, it can be incredibly tedious. Each camo has an unlock challenge you must complete, and each weapon has four challenges before you're met with four more for mastery camos. While you'll be able to find a camo guide on my channel soon, in the description, I've linked a spreadsheet that will guide you through obtaining every single multiplayer camo. All you need to do is check off each item as you complete it, and you'll be able to see how close you are to the new interstellar camo, which is received for unlocking every other camo. Beyond weapons and camos, loadouts also include many more choices, the first of which is your equipment. Equipment is made up of two throwable items, some that deal damage, those being lethals, and some that can be thrown to give yourself a strategic advantage, those being tacticals. Next up, you're able to choose your field upgrade. These will become active as you progress through a match and have a variety of different uses. There isn't any one in particular that's best, so you'll need to decide which you believe will work for each match you enter. New to Call of Duty, we have gloves, boots, and gear. While the names themselves may be fresh, the concept is not. If you've played previous titles, these are basically your perks. They have a massive impact on everything you do in a match, and the choices on these should not be taken lightly. Each selection will directly affect the way you move, the amount of items you carry, whether you're hidden from certain kill streaks, and much more. Your best bet is to weigh your options after testing each individually. Rounding out your loadout, yet one of the first things you should choose is the vest. These basically fall into the perk category as well, but give you a bit more flexibility than your gear does. They also have some pretty cool advantages, similar to wild cards in previous Call of Duty titles. The best part is if they clash with a certain piece of gear you already have, they'll simply give you another upgrade. Across the board, gloves, boots, gear, and vests are the most important choices you'll make before heading into a match. You may have noticed while searching through the unlockable items that some are impossible to acquire through simply ranking up. This is because, for the first time ever, Call of Duty has implemented a new system for unlocking items, and that is Armory Credits. These credits are acquired by doing daily challenges, which can be found in the default menu. Each completed challenge will award you with a single credit. However, once all three daily challenges are completed, you're met with an unlimited win challenge, meaning upon each victory, you'll receive another armory credit. While unlocking these may be monotonous, you can also try extracting certain items while in the zombies mode. This is played just like Warzone's DMZ, meaning you'll be able to unlock the items if you make it out alive with them in your main loadout. Regardless, you may find some of your daily challenges require you to use items that are unlocked via armory credits. In most cases, you'll be able to use the default loadouts to achieve that challenge. 
If you've played even one match, you've already experienced the Heads Up Display, or HUD for short. These are elements that are statically placed around your screen that help you navigate the match. In the top left corner is the mini-map, below which is each team's score. When enemies shoot an unsuppressed weapon or if you use a UAV killstreak, you'll notice red dots begin to pop up on the map as well as the compass at the top middle of your screen. It's great to note that if a player is on a different height level than you, then there will be an arrow below or above their dot indicating the difference. Beyond those elements, in the bottom right you'll find your gun, ammo, and equipment, and on the right you'll find your killstreaks with an indicator beneath showing what's needed to reach the upcoming streak. Moving into killstreaks, as their name suggests, these are rewards acquired during a match for going on a streak of eliminations. This includes airstrikes, UAVs to reveal enemy locations, guardians, juggernaut suits, and more. Not to mention, if you're able to reach 30 in a row, you'll be able to call in a game-ending nuclear bomb. However, you're also able to activate these streaks by obtaining score throughout the match. To activate this option, simply press the button shown on screen while in the killstreaks menu. Just remember, it's not possible to unlock the nuke through score, only eliminations. While Modern Warfare 3 doesn't introduce any new mechanics to the franchise, it does bring back a few old ones. The first and most important of which is slide canceling. This technique is performed by sliding and whilst in the slide, tapping the same button again, forcing your character to stop in its tracks. It's great for catching enemies off guard, breaching a room, or even stopping just as you round a corner. Next up is ledge hanging, which is done by jumping toward any structure that has a ledge on it and grabbing onto the side. You can use pistols to shoot at enemies while hanging, continue up and over the edge, or simply drop back down. The third mechanic of importance is dolphin diving, which is performed by holding your crouch button while spraying printing and tends to be best used when getting cover, going through windows, or even jumping off structures if necessary. Most of Call of Duty multiplayer is dedicated to having you level up to unlock new guns, attachments, and more. With that in mind, a large portion of leveling comes down to being in the right game modes to do so efficiently. You can either go for higher elimination modes or higher score modes, but a few modes give you the best of both worlds, and those are hardpoint and domination. But if you find none of those modes are for you, another great tactic is playing the new zombies game mode. If you call in an extraction, a large number of zombies will swarm you. And if you eliminate them, you'll gain tons of experience for the weapon you're holding. Most importantly, don't forget to turn on double XP when diving into a match for maximum experience gains. While everything shared thus far is going to help you understand the game, you're likely still going to run into players that are simply better than you. So here's three tips to give yourself a massive advantage. First up, aim assist. If you're wondering why your gun will follow enemies for a short period as they pass. That's because Call of Duty has implemented a mechanic to give controller players better aim. Earlier in the video, you were given the best settings. Now, you need to properly utilize this broken mechanic. Many people struggle to make it work due to lack of knowledge, but here's what you need to know. The strongest aim assist you can receive is not from aiming, but rather from moving. This is called rotational aim assist. As long as you're moving, you'll always get aim assist up to around 200 meters. If you don't believe it, get into a game and test it for yourself. Remove your hand from the aiming stick and just move around an enemy, watching it track them almost perfectly. Every match you play, you're likely tempted to run straight at your opponent and try to get as many eliminations as you can, but that's probably not going to work out. Instead, what you need to do is slow down and think. Every elimination and death you have is a learning opportunity. This could lead to knowing the enemy's location, where they're likely to spawn, or even what weapons are being used. Every piece of information on your minimap is vital. Enemy shots reveal locations. If your team is in one place, the other team is likely exact opposite side of the map and more. It's overwhelming at first, but over time, it's exactly what takes a player from zero to hero. Finally, we have positioning. This is the most important key to having a successful match. If you've ever finished a match and saw someone absolutely dominating the scoreboard, it's because they knew how to position themselves to remove any chance enemies could have to eliminate them. Of course, gun skill is involved, but this is 90% of the work. Luckily, it's incredibly simple to master and it all comes down to line of sight. If you can see an enemy, they can see you. That means always put something between yourself and your opponent as often as possible. There's always going to be times where you're going to get caught in the open, but you can minimize that by paying attention to your surroundings. There's an opportunity in every area of the map. You just need to be able to recognize it as you're playing.
And if you're ever needing to see these tips performed live or even just have a question, I stream every Monday and Friday at 9 a.m. Central Standard Time on YouTube and Twitch. If you enjoyed this video, you'll love these Modern Warfare 3 tips that are guaranteed to make you instantly improve.